Hi, this is Jan from Classic Studios. This is a quick tutorial on playing tense. Before you even want to play tense, you want to work on rotation. So if we're in the left hand, you're going to take your C and G. And we're going to rotate like we're turning a doorknob. This is one of the biggest and most important motions you have in piano. Think every kind of passage is associated with a certain motion. If you're playing an Alberti bass, you want as much rotation. That's what's gonna help you not get stiff, not get sore, and use the bigger muscles. So, if you're trying to play tense, now, they are hard. You never really wanna stretch in piano. So if you can't reach it, you're gonna rotate. You're not gonna just hear and then play it, right? Shift. I want you kind of making like a small circle, half an arc, right? And that's how you get that cool sound when you play, right? So you can go. Okay, so it makes it sound cool. It's really full but not everybody's able to reach a tenth. White notes to white notes, those are okay. White notes to black, some are doable, some are not, just depends on your hand. If you can't reach it, not a big deal or sweat it, there's much people that play absolutely great and they can barely reach an octave. But if you do want the tenth, you gotta work on the rotation. So an exercise for the rotation is just taking your scale and playing it in tenths. Big rotation. You wanna be loose but firm. Half an arc, back down and try this in different keys, right? Big rotation, okay? So then the next thing, but it just starts really small, five and one, just get used to that motion. Right hand and left hand are not equal. I can't even play tense in the right hand. Sometimes it's a hit and miss, but but I can rotate and hit everything this way. So that is an option. More rotation for absolutely everything. Here is an exercise based on Dohnani Erno's exercise number one, which is, I highly recommend. One, two, and five. And you're just gonna move three and four. Now, most people just wanna isolate the fingers, even here, between the movements, you get micro movements and you wanna rotate. And then you can play this and it's super easy. Then you can hold down one, two, three, B, A, G, five, four. Usually the fifth and fourth finger are super weak, right? But we gotta train that. More rotation. Then put it together. E and F, it's much rotation. Nothing should be stiff, you shouldn't be pressing down, everything is loose, just rotate between the fingers. At first, it's gonna look pretty stupid, pretty big, you're gonna rotate really huge to get that, but when you play fast, you don't really see that big thing because it's really these micro movements, okay? so. Three and four. That is an excellent warm up. If you have any questions or concerns, please give me or the studio call. And happy practicing.